Hey, listen, guys, this is serious. It's Wednesday, June 5th, and this guy that we know, that we've, we associate with ourselves with sometimes, Se it, what is it, the 6th? Oh yeah, Carlos' so birth birthday was yesterday. Later, right. just... I'm just going to tell you guys right now that we have some weird mystery shoot that's going to come out in the future, and this is honest. We have no idea what's going on. Well, that's fault. not totally true. I have exactly well, idea. Well, we know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shay and Casey don't know what they're about to shoot because, uh, I, you know, Shay was sick the other week, and um, I couldn't think of any ideas with him. We couldn't brainstorm. He wasn't there. So I decided, hey, I'll just create this shoot, and he'll have to come, and he'll have to do it, whatever it is. <laughs> You know? Are uh, you down? Uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> could be what if I hate it, dude? What do we go there? I'm like, dude, I'm not doing then this. Then we'll post it it's on a different channel. It's like Vaseline slip and slide or something. <laughs> Brett keeps saying there's gerbils involved, so whatever that means. I said guinea pigs. Oh. So anyway, they've been set up for an hour. We have no, we haven't been able to go in the backyard. There's five people out there setting the shoot up. They're gonna mic us up. We're gonna do the shoot. But just so you guys know, when this comes out, we have no idea what's gonna take place. This is all gonna be reaction. All right. We just got done with the mystery shoot. We can't tell you exactly what happened, but I'm gonna ask you. the show. Oh, are you gonna show him yeah. what he's gonna what, do? What, what do you, you think about the mystery shoot? I don't. I don't want any more mysteries in my life. I want to know Ron, everything. Ron, what do you think about the mystery shoot? Uh, I'm just happy that I didn't throw up. Whenever. You're a little less full than when you came. Absolutely. We can thank this guy, the bearded man, for the mystery shoot. I thought it went well. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing it anymore, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad they trust me enough to. Hopefully, throw you have together. a job tomorrow, <laughs> Jared. Okay, now, Jared. Um, <sighs> I don't know if we can show this. We probably can't show it in your vlog. You have to wait. If you okay. use this footage, you have to wait until the video goes up. All I'm saying right now is I'm going to pay Jared $25 to do something. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to know what Jared's, Jared's going to do for 25 bucks, you have to watch this video. When's it going to come out? Shay Carl, yeah. When are we going to put it out? Should we take Bronxy with us? Yeah! You want to go with us, Bronxy? Capri. I'm not taking Capri. You want to go on a walk with us? You want to go on a walk? Let's go get your, where's your uh, leash at? Come here, come here, come here, Bronx! I told the kids if they massaged my back for 20 minutes that I'd take them on a, a walk. And they did, they did a good job. It was probably a good 25 minute massage. So anyway, we're gonna go on a little little bike ride here. They're riding their bikes. I'm I'm riding I'm riding my feet. So I just got back from Texas Monday and uh, it was a blast. We had a riot, we, we filmed a bunch. The fishing wasn't that good. We went out there because Lake Fork, Texas, the lake, it's known for um, big bass. Like the ultimate challenge in bass fishing is to catch a double digit bass, a 10 pound bass. And on Lake Fork, what are you doing? Gage just crashed, ran into a pole, and then Rayleigh's gonna run him over. Good job, Ray Ray. Way to run over Gage. Okay, jump back on Spider Man, let's get going. So anyway, Lake Fork is known for catching huge bass. If you're gonna catch a 10 pound bass, Lake Fork is, they say it's top top five in the country to do it. So it was a little slow. We never caught any real big fish. Um, Ed caught like a seven pounder the first day. I wasn't out there yet. Ed was out there. I caught probably 10 fish the whole time, nothing over three pounds, but it was a riot. I love fishing. Ronnie Parker, the owner of Lake Fork Trophy Lures, he, he's amazing. His family was amazing. We stayed there at their house. You guys saw the vlogs, but I just wanted to tell him um, thank you again for having us out there. We are looking to do some really big things with Ronnie and, and uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Hopefully they go down, which I think. We made a video with Ronnie at they have a little tackle shop there in Lake Fork. If you guys don't, if you guys have never been there, which probably 98% of you haven't, Lake Fork's just a little tiny town. It's about, I think, 80 miles east of Dallas. But uh, they have a little little tackle shop there, and then their their uh, their company where they actually make the lures, their um, production production place is right there. So we made a video with Ronnie yesterday at, or on Monday of how to make their lures, how they're produced, the machines they use, and. <laughs> It's, it's on Hushin' with LaVere, so go watch it. It's not, if you guys don't like fishing or hunting, that's fine. Go watch this video. You will, I guarantee you, you will LOL a whole lot, and ROFL, and LMNOP, and all that stuff, because it's funny, me and Ed made it. We're basically sitting there harassing Ronnie the whole time, um, but it was fun. Ronnie was a good sport. Go watch it, link's down below. It's on Hushin' with LaVere, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. What? Oh, great, I put Gage's seat up. Now he thinks he needs a to put it up every five feet. All right, Speed Demon, I raised Gage's seat up a little bit. Now he can really haul some butt. 
You can really haul some patootie now that the seat's put up, right? Slow down, guys. Don't get too far ahead of me. Whoa. So anyways, if you're not subscribed to Hushman with a Beer, do me a favor and subscribe. Go watch the video. Laugh. Do yourself a favor and go freaking laugh at my videos. Go watch them. Be educated because they're very, very educational. No, I'm just kidding. If you like that stuff, go watch it. But everyone should go watch that video we did with Ronnie because it is funny. Um, Ed's in there and Ed, Ed never turns Ed off. Ed is Ed all the time. He's always funny. It's always lighthearted and uh, we had a good time anyway. Oh yeah, um, for you of those, for you of those, for those of you, for you of those, you know what I'm saying. So you guys out there that follow me on Instagram, I haven't Instagrammed for a long time because remember, can you guys tell me why I haven't Instagrammed for a long time? Yeah, what, what's that? Yes, you're right. I took my phone into the ocean and died. And Verizon, being the wonderful company that it is, took a month and a half to get me a new phone, but check it out. Got my iPhone, got my iPhone. So I'll be Instagramming now um, from here on until eternity. Got my iPhone finally. It's not even hooked up. I just put it in my pocket to feel cool on this walk. But um, actually, I can take pictures with it. So maybe I'll Instagram a picture or take a picture. Then, anyway, and I don't mean to talk bad about companies. I, I tweeted about Verizon having a crappy um, customer service the other day. And I don't mean anything by it except for Verizon has crappy customer service. Anyway, so I got it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm not going to complain anymore about Verizon. Taking lots of breaks there. You've been taking lots of breaks. I don't know if you could handle a 26 miler with that. Could you? I'm doing 28. You're going to do 28? Yeah. All right. Do 28. Hey there, slow pokey. Slokey pokey. Whoa, never mind. Speed demon, I meant. I said slow pokey, but I meant speed demon. Slow down there, speed demon. Raise the hands. How many of you guys are going to be at VidCon this year? Nobody? Never mind. Shay told me today that you're sweaty. You, you sweaty sweat? Well, the, it, why are you wearing a sweater, bro? Sweater sweat. When you're in a sweater, you sweat, you sweaty sweat. So anyway, Shay told me today that um, they sold 10,000 tickets to VidCon, which is crazy because last year we went, I think they sold like 3,200, and it was crazy. Like, playlists that we went to this year had like, I think 2,500, and they sold 10,000 tickets already. It's going to be wild if you guys are going to be there. Designing a shirt that I'm going to sell at VidCon, so hopefully they come out good. Um, I'm excited to sell them, and uh, if you're there, come buy one. And... Uh, Wear it on your head. Use it for a sweat rag. I don't know. Do whatever you want with it. But it should be a cool shirt. Uh, maybe I, I have an idea of what I want. You guys tell me in, in the uh, comments below what kind of shirt I should make. Like what it should say on it. I thought about doing like videos love outgoing guys. But that's old news. Let's do something new. Something new. Flashy. Maybe like a marathon tank top. So you guys tell me what kind of shirt. What should I write on it? What should it say? Like... Oh snap, are you excited? I don't know. I have huge muscles. Some other cool news is we just decided um, the schedules are working out for Kaylee and all the moms that I think we're going to be able to go home to uh, Utah and Idaho for like a month right after VidCon. We're going to go home and uh, we're going to drive home and go do a bunch of camping. Uh, I think we're going to try to shoot a bro ventures up there, either whitewater rafting or something. But oh, you guys don't know how excited I am to get out of LA for a month and go home, get in my truck. Hook up on, hook up my trailer house and go camping. And Gage is excited to go home and complain about how sweaty and tired he is. Are you less sweaty now, bro? You cooling off faster? I am just, I've had enough of LA for right now. I feel claustrophobic. It was nice going to Texas for three days, but I'm really excited to go home and see the Rocky Mountains and uh, go to my old stomping grounds and relax and do some fishing, um, do, be in my own house for a while. I'm excited. So we're going to be doing that. So we're going to have some cool country down home chicken fried steak vlogs is what I'm going to call them. We're going to do some really cool camping stuff and I'm going to do a bunch of how-to stuff like how to get out of LA for a month and breathe and enjoy nature and smell the trees and not listen to thousands of cars drive by every day. Anyway, okay, so we're halfway home. Um, I love you guys. I really do. I love every single one of you.
especially you. Don't, don't turn around, I'm talking to you. I love you. I just want to say thank you. We appreciate everything you guys do, watching our videos, liking them. Um, we do this for you guys. We do this because of the interaction. It's addicting. And Braylee wants to tell you something. Thanks for watching our videos. Casey LeBaron, hey Kaylee's the best video, and Shay Carl also. If you don't watch them, then you should go watch them, especially hey Kaylee. Hey Kaylee's the best, Shay Carl and Casey LeBaron. Watch I know them. What we do. You're only love leaving you. out like a half the family. Love you. We love you guys. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in Venice Beach. Peace to the movie Greece, because this is where it was shot. You guys know what that high school's called? Greece was shot here. Anyway, um, we're going to go home, which is that way, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm trying to do everyday vlogs, as you guys can tell.